Hello and welcome to an India Today special broadcast. We are with Kiran Rijiju, Minister for Youth and Sports Affairs. Because of COVID times for the past three and a half months, people have been locked up home. Many not being able to exercise, but Minister, how do you stay fit? See, the COVID-19 has been a challenging moment for everyone. But for me, to remain fit, it didn't really matter. And uh, it's very clear, if you want to be fit, you can do all kind of fitness regime. You can do yoga, you can do some exercise in your room, you can uh, run around, walk around. So you really don't need gym, you don't need full ground. You can remain fit. Of course, there's restrictions because of the lockdown, but within the room also. So you have to be active. See, basically what I want to say is, you must be active all the time. Sure. Don't be lazy. Oh, absolutely. But has COVID affected India's quest for gold, India's quest for fitness? In fact, see, COVID has been an issue for the entire world. It's not only India. But the benefit part which I can take advantage of the situation is, we have been able to plan it better. We have been able to create certain modules, some capsules for fitness, for training, coaching, and for, you know, development of sports, so many things have been planned out during this lockdown period. And we have been able to get in touch with the entire sporting fraternity, whether it's the associations, federations, the athletes, the officials, everyone. Okay. So I'm actually eagerly waiting for the, the sporting event to take place because I think we are prepared now and we have uh, already taken certain decisions which will have uh, far-reaching uh, positive consequences in the future. Very good. You must tell me about that uh, during the course of this uh, broadcast. But tell me this. Are we now looking at sports in a new light in the sense that even if there is a sporting event, hmm. let's say there's football or cricket, it'll be without spectators? For the foreseeable future, it seems that we'll have to live with the situation where the sporting events will uh, be conducted without spectators in the stadium. But that is because of the situation, so we have to live with that. But after that, what will happen? I really ca cannot say anything, but we are better prepared. That's what I can say. Okay. Now, when you took over as sports minister, what was your KRA? What was your aim that I'm going to make India a sporting giant, not just cricket, but other sports? See, I had two objectives in my mind. One is to make India a great sporting powerhouse. Secondly, to make sports as a culture, as a way of life in India. So Prime Minister has been an inspirational guide for all of us. So Prime Minister had constituted the Olympic Task Force. Yes. The report has come and I'm already implementing it. Another is Prime Minister launched a Fit India movement. Yes. So Fit India movement is the basis on which we will rise as a country with uh, fit people. Because what? earlier around uh, close to 70% of the people were not fit in India in terms of um, technical exercise and uh, in the parameters of that fitness. But now uh, people are taking care of their health. People are aware of the fitness and the fitness culture has come in. Secondly, to make India a sporting powerhouse, we must create a sports culture in the society. Hmm. See the old saying of Keloge, Kudoge, Honge, Kharab, that cannot create that perf perfect atmosphere for our younger generation. So we have changed the slogan now, Keloge, Kudoge, Banoge, La Jawab, and through that we are, uh, we are creating a situation where the talents and all the potentials are realized. Okay.